What's up guys, hope you're having an awesome day. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look and it might look familiar to you because I have posted this all over Instagram for like a couple months now and you guys give it a lot of love. This is a look that I wore when I went to Katy Perry in December and I went with three amazing girls, Stephanie, Sharon and Michelle and we decided to do a collaboration video showing all of our makeup that we wore to the show. So, I would really like you guys to check out their videos. I'll leave the links down below. There is some cool content that is going up and we're all doing giveaways. I should probably start at the very beginning so that you guys are all on the same page with me. So, I received an email from Benefit Cosmetics last July asking me, do I want to come to Katy Perry VIP? And I'm like, well, Duh. <laughs> so I responded back not saying well duh, more professional, accepting their um, accepting their invitation and they said that there was a group of different beauty bloggers going and I was really excited because as you guys know I work from home, I get lonely really often because I don't really see people or meet people very often. So I was really excited to go with a group of beauty bloggers that I had never met previously. So I was like anticipating December for the concert so months and months and months passed blah 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 and the night of the concert came and I thought, okay, Katy Perry, glitter, obviously. So this is the look that I came up with to go to the concert. And I arrived at the concert and I met three of the most beautiful, lovely, lovely girls, Sharon, Stephanie, and Michelle. And we had an absolute blast. We were literally right underneath Katy Perry and Katy is just like... She's everything and more. We had the most amazing night with Benefit. I appreciated the invitation so very much. And yeah, all three girls and I decided that we wanted to do a collaboration video just showing the makeup that we wore to that event. Yes, <laughs> struggling to get it out there, but that's, yeah, this is what this is. Um, we also asked Benefit if they would be willing to do a giveaway. So for the giveaway, we are going to be giving away products that are either our favorite products from Benefit or products that we used in the video to create the looks that we're creating. So I am giving away a lot of the products that I used in this video. I will wait till the end to show you exactly what it is. But you can enter in my competition if you want and all you have to do is I don't know, let me know your favorite Katy Perry song down below, and I'm not sure what the other girls' rules are, so you'll have to watch their video if you want to win their little benefit loot. Without much further freaking ado, here's how I did my makeup. Let's do this. So I already did my base off camera, and that is what I used, and I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes. I'm picking up a creamy light shade and applying it all over my lid and then I am taking Hoola by Benefit and I am putting that all through my crease using a tapered blending brush. Grabbing the warm lighter brown color onto a fluffy blending brush I am putting that again through my crease and then after that I'm grabbing the plummy color on the tapered blending brush and applying it a little bit more precisely into the outer corner. And Notice that I'm not actually dragging it down to meet the lash line, I'm just putting it in the outer portion of my crease. Okay, so the push-up liner from Benefit definitely has a bit of a trick to it. You have to angle it so that the slant kind of drags along your eye. Does that make sense? I'll drag it to make the swoop and then I'll turn the entire pen around and drag it back the other way to create the rest of the wing if that hopefully makes sense while you're viewing it. Uh, you definitely have to move a lot faster with this product than your typical eyeliners just because it is a drier formula. That is a good thing though because it's not going to smudge on you when you blink or it's not going to move around during the day. So it's good as long as you move quickly. And as I'm sure you saw, I did the outer portion of the flick before I did the inner portion of my eye. And next I am taking a white cream liner from MAC and a tiny little Ray Morris brush and I'm just tracing the underside of that black line. I'll be connecting that to my waterline but don't bother dragging it onto your waterline, you'll use a pencil for that later. Now for the fun and equally as terrifying part of doing the glitter. I'm using a loose glitter from the makeup store and a little brush and a glitter adhesive. I'm going to put the glitter adhesive on my hand, dip my brush tip into it, and then dip the brush into the glitter pot. So if you have already done your base like I have, I would definitely suggest using a shadow shield or a ghetto piece of paper like I am just to make sure that you don't get a lot of fallout onto your face. If you haven't already done your base, then just go for it, girl. Use a pressing motion rather than a dragging motion when you're putting it along your lash line just to minimize any fallout and just keep doing layer upon layer of glitter. All of the glitter. Woo! So do your other eye and then you can clean up the edges with a q-tip and I definitely recommend using wet wipes to wipe your fingers off because glitter is like herpes and it spreads everywhere. Alrighty then. 
Don't forget to curl your lashes and put on some mascara. I am using the Benefit They're Real. And let it dry. Have a dance break. Do your thing. <laughs> I'm using the Minx 2.0 style from Socialize for my lashes today. They are big, they are dramatic. I'm using the Socialize glue and tweezers as well. When you have a strip lash that's a little bit thicker on the band, just rotate it back and forth between your fingers to loosen it up and you can pop it right on. Or if for whatever reason strip lashes are a little bit hard for you, you can always clip it into three different spots. So clipping it into three, and then you'll grab the middle section and apply a little bit of glue onto it. And the socialized glue is latex free and quick drying, so you only have to wait about five to 10 seconds before you pop it on your eyelid. So place the middle part right on the middle of your eye, and then grab the front portion, put some glue on it, and apply the inner corner, and then you'll do the same with the outer corner. And the bonus of doing it in three different sections is you have a little bit more control over where the lash is going, and it's a lot more comfortable for a beginner to get used to bigger strip lashes. After the glue has set, I'm pinching my natural lash with the false lash using the tweezers. And then before I move on to the other eye, I'm just going to wipe the tweezers off in case there's any like residual glue. I don't want it to stick to the other lash. Next up, I'm doing my brows with the Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia brow pencil. I can never pronounce that. <laughs> I am just lightly filling everything in. And then I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow on top. It just adds a bit more, not volume to my brow, but you know what I mean. Going back in on my bottom lashes with mascara and make sure you wipe your wand off before you put it back into the tube or else you are going to have sparkles everywhere. Then I'm taking a white pencil and lining my inner waterline and after I do that I'm also going to drag it down into my tear duct area. And I'm going to take my Fix Plus, spray it onto a pencil brush, take some MAC nylon or any type of light or whiter color and just put that right over top of the tear duct area. I'm also going to use the same color as a brow bone highlight. Finally, time for concealer. I definitely feel like a different person with concealer on, so that's an important part. Make sure if you're blending it, do not blend it into the sparkles. You'll be so upset if you do. If you're scared of beauty blender or anything getting too close, just use your finger. If at any point you need to get fallout off of your face, you can always take a stiff bristled brush and just kind of flick it off. It works so well. And then just touch up with the beauty blender. And this next part is totally optional, but I'm using hairspray to set my glitter. You totally don't have to do this. And if you feel uncomfortable doing it, don't do it. But it worked for me, so that's what I did. I'm lining my lips with an Essence lip liner. Go do yourself a favor, buy yourself some. It's like two bucks, best two bucks you'll spend. Uh, after that, I'm using a limited edition Estee Lauder color, which makes me want to cry because I really like the color. Let's just move on. I'm using a Gerard Cosmetics lip um, gloss. That's the word, a lip gloss. I don't really like the lights in these. They really annoy me. Am I the only one? Moving on to the face. We are almost done, people. I am taking the peachy color and the yellowy color and putting that underneath my eyes. It just helps combat dark circles. And then I'm taking the lightest color and I'm kind of drawing that in a triangle underneath my eyes to lift and brighten. Then I'm using the Makeup Store's Gobi Powder as kind of a bronzer slash setting powder-ish. It's just this really pretty glowy type powder. I cannot find my NARS Eda brush for the life of me, so I'm using this Ray Morris brush, tapping off a lot of excess product, and doing a bit of contouring. Since I've already done like 50 million steps, I thought, why not one more? So I am contouring my nose ever so slightly and putting a little bit of light powder as a highlight. And then taking Dandelion from Benefit, it's this really pretty light pink blush, and I'm applying that. And then I'm applying a black pencil liner in my upper waterline. For my highlight, I'm using Soft and Gentle by MAC, but it wasn't as glowy as I wanted, so I layered on some light scapade. Oh yeah. And then to finish things off, I am using the Best Damn Beauty Facial Spray as a makeup setting spray. I love this stuff. Go check out the brand. It's rad. And that's it. That's all. You're done. Take your hair out, give it a brush, and that's your final look. that you enjoyed today's tutorial and picked up a new technique or got inspired to work with glitter. It is definitely the messiest of things, but it is so worth it. It is so much fun to wear glitter. You honestly feel like a rock star every single time. So I really do recommend just 
give it a go, why not? Um, for the giveaway, like I said, uh, to enter just let me know your favorite Katy Perry song down in the comments below along with whatever else you want to comment because I love reading your guys' comments and I want to show you what you're going to win. So, I have my little benefit box. You're going to start off with the Benefit Professional Primer. I use this in videos all the time. You guys will love this if you haven't tried it already. So, one of these. Next up is the Benefit The Real Liner. It is the liner that I use in this video and this is an awesome liner. Like I said, it is a little bit more of a dry formula so you do have to work a little bit quickly with it but once you get the hang of it it's like <sighs> and then next up is the liner remover because this is a total necessity for getting this stuff off at night or else you will be scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing definitely use this water waterproof <laughs> definitely use this remover today words not happening the last two things that I would like to give away to you guys is the Benefit Dandelion Blush. This is a beautiful light baby pink blush, like you guys probably see on my cheeks right now. And the last thing is my absolute staple from Benefit, which is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And honestly, I'm almost like mad if you don't own this already because this is something that you need in your kit. But if you win this, now you'll have all of this in your kit. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out all the other girls' videos. They have a lot of cool stuff to give away as well, different products to mine, and I'm actually not sure what they got, so I'm curious to see myself. And that's everything. Please like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye!